guys, we're going to read Ellie and Ollie Eel. I love these books. I had three or four of them. Ellie and Ollie were big, slippery eels. They were long, skinny fish covered with tiny scales. Their skin felt as smooth as velvet because their scales were so small. Ollie lived most of his life in the far, in the bay near the ocean. But when Ellie was young, she swam and wiggled her way up the river. Ellie stayed in the river until she was seven years old, and then she swam down the river to the bay. It was there that she met Ollie. Hello, how are you today, Ellie asked. Well, I'm hungry, Ollie said, but I know where there are good things to eat at Tate's Island. Tate's Island Landing was a seafood store beside the bay. Oh, you really shouldn't go there, piped up the other eels in the bay. You might get caught in one of Mark Tate's pots. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Ollie didn't want to listen to them. Come on, Ellie, let's swim over to Tate's Island tonight. We can find some tasty scraps of fish and crab there. That night, when the eels like to feed, Ollie swam closer and closer to Tate's Island, I mean landing. Ellie thought that it was a good thing to do, but she followed behind him and didn't say a word. She was a little nervous. When his slippery skin, Ollie swam and he slipped easily along the bottom, and his sense of smell was very, very best, was the very best. Ollie could smell things he liked to eat as he swam near Tate's Island. Suddenly, he slipped inside of one of Mark Eel's pots, and he's trapped. Ellie, Ellie swam up near him. Right away, she was trapped too. Uh-oh. Not good for them. The other eels were in the pot, squirming and squirming. Oh, you shouldn't have come here, they cried. You won't be able to get your way out, find your way out. Soon Mark came along and he lifted the pot. He sold eels to the fishermen for bait, so he was happy when he saw all those eels. Yeah, I bet he was. He wants to make a few bucks. A fisherman and his wife came to Tate's Landing. They gave Mark a big nickel for a bag full of eels. A big nickel is what Mark called a coin worth 50 cent. I call that a 50 cent piece. They put the bag in their truck, and down the road they went. Ellie and Ollie and all the other eels squirmed and squirmed, in that bag. Uh oh. Suddenly, the bag of eels broke open, and the fisherman's wife screamed, and she jumped up and down in the truck. And those slippery eels just kept on squirming. <laughs> the fisherman stopped the truck and opened the door. Let's get out of here, cried Ellie. And Ellie and Ollie and all the other eels squirmed out of the truck. There they go. They can go like little snakes. The eels wiggled their way into the water near the road. They quickly swam until they were back in the bay, but away from Tate's landing. Now, it wasn't long after their escape that a strange change came over Ellie and Ollie. They changed colors and their eyes became enlarged. I feel a strong urge to swim far away, Ollie said. I do too, Ellie said. Something inside the eels was telling them that a special time had come. It was time for them to swim to the Sargasso Sea. Sargasso Sea, sorry. Many miles away in the ocean. Ellie and Ollie began that long swim with many other grown-up eels. They swam and they swam until they came to the Sargasso Sea. The eels dived deep into the water. Both Ellie and Ollie were very tired. 
I'm worn out, Ellie said, but I must release my eggs. She then released millions of eggs into the water. Ollie fertilized them so that they would hatch. Ellie and Ollie's important work was done and their life cycle was over. They're gonna have lots of babies. Very tiny eels soon hatched from the eggs. They didn't look anything like Ellie and Ollie. They looked like little leaves and they were clear as glass. You see them? The baby eels began a year-long voyage to America. They knew that they should go there, just as Ellie and Ollie had done when they were little. Aww. The answer is as slippery as an eel, for no human really knows for sure. Aww, isn't that nice? The end. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I have one about a shrimp, and I have one about a turtle, and, hmm. Maybe something else. Salamander, maybe. Anyway, I'll read more later. Bye, guys. Have a good day.